On February 11, 2016, scientists at LIGO confirmed the first ever detection of gravitational waves when a signal was identified to be the merger of two black holes with masses 29 and 36 times greater than the mass of the sun. Incredibly, they did it again on June 15th when another signal was identified to be the collision of two black holes with 14.2 and 7.5 solar masses. Now this all sounds really exciting, and it is, but what are gravitational waves, and why are they important? Welcome to the cool thing about science, I'm Matt Parker. In 1915, Albert Einstein developed his general theory of relativity, which describes how the fabric of space-time is warped by objects with mass, and this warping results in gravity. The very next year, Einstein predicted the existence of gravitational waves, which are very much what they sound like. Gravitational waves are ripples in the fabric of space-time as objects with mass accelerate through it, very similar to the way my kayak produces waves as I accelerate through this marsh. Objects with little mass cause small ripples that dissipate quickly, similar to throwing a pebble in the water. But the more massive the object is, like this rock, the larger the gravitational waves are and the further they will travel. Only the largest, most powerful events in the universe can cause gravitational waves large enough to currently be detected here on Earth. These include supernovae, the coalescence of neutron stars, and collisions between black holes, which is what scientists at LIGO have already detected. When these events happen, gravitational waves get sent out at the speed of light. By the time they reach Earth, they have weakened so much, they are thousands of times smaller than the nucleus of an atom. These disturbances are what get detected by LIGO. But why are gravitational waves important? Well, for one, it further confirms Einstein's theory of general relativity and shows the predictions he made over a century ago based on that theory were correct. But more importantly, for the longest time, scientists were only able to study the universe using visible light. But it turned out that there was a lot more that could be learned by using other parts of the electromagnetic spectrum, such as radio waves, microwaves, gamma rays, and infrared light. Similar to the way we were able to advance our understanding of the universe by using the entire electromagnetic spectrum, scientists will now be able to use gravitational waves to learn even more. They give us a way to hear the universe and therefore observe it in an entirely different way. It's as if we spent our entire life only being able to see and all of a sudden we can hear. Imagine watching a movie on mute and never really knowing what the characters are saying. It's an entirely different experience with the sound on. Unlike light, gravitational waves do not get blocked by interstellar dust, which will allow us to observe astronomical events further away than ever before. Not only that, but they also provide us with different information than that carried by electromagnetic radiation. For example, colliding black holes do not emit electromagnetic radiation, so we would never be able to see them. But now we can hear them using gravitational waves and study them that way. As a matter of fact, the detection of these gravitational waves was the first physical evidence that black holes could actually collide and form a larger black hole. But it doesn't stop with black holes. You see, scientists were able to use gravitational waves to learn more about supernovae, neutron stars, and even the beginning of the universe. An entirely new field of science has now been born gravitational wave astronomy. You see, that's the cool thing about science. It continues to push the limits of our knowledge and is still finding new ways to observe and understand our universe. So stay curious, keep asking questions, and continue exploring the world around you because new information is coming in waves and you can hear it. Thanks for watching.